Vivo lights up the city for their X50 series launch in a more premium way than we thought. What's up guys, Waz here with the Vivo X50 series and I'm sure some of you haven't heard of this brand before so just wait for the best part and if you can't wait through but want to skip then you follow the timestamps in the description to guide you through the timeline of the video. So prior to the release of this model they announced the Vivo Apex earlier this year with having a gimbal like stabilization for its main camera. It didn't get released but instead this one the x50 series came out today there are three versions a pro a standard and a pro plus but we'll be focusing on the pro plus and before we begin it has a leather variant just for those who are willing to spend a little more cash right so it has a 6.56 amoled display similar in size to the apple iphone 11 pro max but less than the galaxy s20 ultra and the infinix note 7. the processor is a snapdragon 865 so you get a similar processing power speed and strength as the Galaxy S20 Ultra but faster than the Infinix Note 7 and Techno Camon 15. It's got 12 GB of RAM, 256 gigs of storage and a 4350 mAh battery less than your S20 Ultra and Infinix Note 7. Now down to the interesting part of the video and the reason many of you are here, the camera. The device packs a quad camera s20 like design setup at the back and a single 32 megapixel camera up front which although is less than what we have on the s20 ultra it's similar to that of the huawei p40 pro and better than that of the infinix note 7. the main camera at the back is a 50 megapixel sensor again not even close to that of the s20 ultra but similar to the huawei p40 pro and uh, late, a little above the Infinix Note 7. The, before I go on, the, the more pixels doesn't actually mean you get the best images, the best pictures. You're gonna get more detail, but okay, you know what? There's a card up here where a fellow techie explained everything on that. So do well to watch it to understand the basic concept behind pixels and how it doesn't really affect how good your pictures are. Uh, but this is where things get interesting. The Huawei P40 Pro, Galaxy S20 Ultra, 11, iPhone 11 Pro, basically all flagships and high-end uh, phones have what we call optical image stabilization OIS and it basically means that the camera moves in its place to uh, counter the movement of the device which reduces shakiness and improves stabilization on when when you shoot in a video or even taking a picture and as you can see here of the OIS are work on the Honor 30 Pro Plus very little shakes right now this device the Vivo X50 Pro Plus Wow they technically has uh, OIS but v Vivo took it to a different level by giving it somewhat of an eyeball uh, maybe this guy's eyeball and there's just a lot more physics going into this camera setup for obvious reasons which I think you should expect when there's like an eyeball roaming in there and I'm not going into all of that not because of time but because I, I don't understand right talk of Lorenz Falls and all that please let's just move on so Although it has limits, the device should withstand much more intense shakes than any device on the market right now and it simply does what your eyes do when they're fixed on something and you move them around in short distances. So is this the next generation of smartphone camera stabilization? We can't tell, at least for now, but since the device is built for photography and has such good stabilization, people are going to be taking lots of cinematic shots with it without a gimbal, I presume. And if this is successful, I know the one brand that will take this to another ancestral level. The one other brand that has a series built just for photography, Huawei. And with this, I say merci for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace out, stay safe and stay at home.